how to turn your photos into an nft hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can turn basically any photos or videos that you might have into an nft now if you guys didn't know that you can do this basically you can turn anything into an nft now if you're wondering what is an nft it's a non-fungible token it's basically a signature basically turn anything into an nft now if you didn't know this well basically over here i'm going to show you uh, some classic memes that have also been turned into an nft now over here this one the bad luck brian this picture i'm sure you remember it this one sold for roughly thirty six thousand dollars into cryptocurrency the same with disaster girl it sold for five hundred thousand dollars into an auction same with the dogecoin and uh, charlie bit my finger was also sold for around seventy seven hundred and sixty thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars over here as you can see anything can be turned into an nft same goes for your photos as well now i'm going to show you how you can basically do that on open seas now open seas is one of the biggest and largest marketplace for nfts where you can buy and sell and mint different nfts okay so the process is going to be really simple so when you come over to your open seas all you have to do is just simply follow this video so first things first you're going to have to create a metamask wallet now just simply come over here and click on the wallet icon on the left right corner and once you do that you will see you have a couple of different options so you have wallet connect metamask coinbase wallet formatic and if you want to use more you have all of the others as well now the most popular is metamask so i'm going to be using that so when i click on it it's going to redirect me over to their website where we can download the extension onto our chrome browser or you know on our ios phone or android as well so i'm going to go ahead and click on install metamask for chrome it's going to take me over to the chrome extension you know website where i can just simply add the extension over here now, while that extension adds, wait for it to, you know, be downloaded and installed into Chrome browser. And when it's done, you can go ahead and sign up. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just simply going to go ahead and download it as well. You can download it for your PC as well. Now, as you can see, the MetaMask has been downloaded. Now, all I got to do is simply to their website where all I have to do is click on get started. And over here, I can import the wallet. If I already have a wallet, I can go ahead and import it by entering in a secret recovery phase, or I can create a new wallet. I already have one, but I'm going to show you how you can basically create a wallet. Simply click on create a wallet, click on I agree. And over here, all you have to do is just simply enter in your password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Read the and agree to the terms of use. Click on create. Wait a couple of seconds for it to load. And as you can see, click on next. And over here, this is going to be your secret recovery phase. Make sure you don't show this to anyone. Okay. Uh, and uh, also, so don't forget it. Remember to take a screenshot or a picture of it and save it onto your phone or desktop or anywhere else. Like keep it safe uh, because it's going to be the only way that you can actually sign into your MetaMask account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up. Simply click on next. And over here, as you can see, these are all the words. Now, all I have to do is just, you know, align them as they have shown me in the preview section. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in these words and I will catch you guys in a little bit. And once you have done that, you will arrive onto this page and they will tell you, congratulations, you have passed the test and you have to keep the recovery phase safe. It's your responsibility. Now all you have to do is click on all done. And there you go. You have your account ready. Now let's go ahead and back to open seas and simply click on MetaMask. Now you can go ahead and sign in using your wallet and just simply click on it, click on MetaMask and it'll open up this window over here. As you can see, the pop-up has now been open and all you have to do now is just simply click on next and connect wait a couple of seconds for the wallet to connect to the website once it's done that there you go now you have signed up you have created your account you can see your profile over here you have everything over here you can go ahead and change the name and add a picture banner whatever so now all of that's left for us to do is basically create an nft you can create an nft by simply clicking on the create button over here and once you do that, it'll send a message to your wallet where you have to basically sign the transaction. Simply click on sign and there you go. Now all you have to do is just simply upload the photo or video. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the photo over here. This one. Okay, so here it is. So this is a photo that I created. This is a image that I created 
this is basically a purple eye i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna call it a, the omnipotent eye or the all-seeing eye there you go now all you have to do is just enter in your external link to your website or your twitter account or instagram account basically website or marketplace that showcases your nfts or your collections or your previous works to you know let the, you are a legit person that you are a good creator and then enter in a description you can describe your nft in detail basically you can write whatever you want anything that can help the buyer understand the buyer know that you are a serious creator and you're not just fooling around then once you've done that you can add in a collection if you already have one you can create one later and uh, you can go ahead and add it to your collections and then you have properties over here you can add different properties into your nft basically when you're uploading let's say, let's say a rare form of your nft like you're uploading a collection like you're uploading like 10 or 100 of different nfts and you want to upload some rare nfts then you can go ahead and add the properties to that basically you will remember the crypto punks and the ape nfts basically they had like special and rare nfts that had some special different accessories like a different background or an eye patch or a cigarette that, that basically lets them to stand out from the rest of the collection then you can go ahead and add those over here but i'm not gonna do that because i'm just then letting you guys know how you basically upload it and then you have the supply over here you can add some of the different supply as well but it's gonna be one right now you can change the supply when you are actually creating a collection that way you can change the supply of the nft and then you have blockchain now this is very important in blockchain you have two options you have ethereum and then you have polygon now whenever whichever one you choose depends upon you but it tell you the difference basically if you choose ethereum you will have a much better marketplace you will have a better price as well but you will have to pay a certain gas fee which can be odd sometimes so to find out the gas fee all you have to do is come over here onto etherscan onto etherscan gas tracker over here and right now the gas is 69 gui which is not a lot but it's still a lot for example the high is 83 dollars so you have to pay the 83 dollars so that your nft can get a better minted or you can buy it as well so if you're buying an nft then you have to pay the gas fee and you have to make sure that it's higher so because gas fees can fluctuate up and down so you have to pay a little bit higher so it says 83 then you have to pay like 100 or 110 dollars so that even if the gui goes higher you will be the first one regardless in the list okay so which can be really really frustrating uh but if you choose polygon then you don't have to pay any gas fees whatsoever it's completely free as it says over here a fast gas free blockchain experience and it works with ethereum as well so you won't have to pay any gas fees it's the downside is you won't get a good price so i'm gonna choose polygon for now because i don't want to pay any gas fees and then all you have to do is just simply click on create there you go you have created your nft now you can go ahead and see everything over here here this page is going to tell you everything the price history listing offers tags and whatsoever and once you have done that everything looks good all you have to do is click on sell and once you click on sell just simply enter in the amount of that you think is appropriate so i'm going to go ahead and enter in 0 0.001 uh, which is roughly four dollars and i'm going to change the duration to let's say three days or maybe yeah a week i think a week is done so and then all you have to do is click on complete listing now as i said before it's completely free but you will have to pay 2.5 percent service fee that is the only fee that you will have to pay but you can pay that when you, your nft is sold you don't have to pay that before now when everything looks good all you have to do is click on complete listing and wait a couple of seconds and over here you have to unlock the currency basically it will submit a transaction to your wallet with this currency click on unlock and it'll send a message to your wallet where you just simply have to click Click on assign so that you assign the wallet sign the message with your signature wait a couple of seconds for the website to recognize that and then just simply click on sign again as you can see transaction successful and then just simply sign the wallet again and there you go your nft is listed and one is interested they're going to buy it 
and then transaction is successful you will receive your payment within your wallet and you will get notified so as you can see it's pretty easy now if you don't want to use these you can also use other websites such as rarible now rarible is also a pretty good, awesome website let me just show you over here wait a couple of seconds let me just the website is loading up so okay so this is how rarible looks like it's also a pretty cool website and you can upload your nft over here the process is going to be exactly the same just come over here click on sign in and you will have to sign in with your metamask wallet it'll send a transaction click on next click on connect wait a couple of seconds for it to be connected complete these boxes and just simply click on agree wait a couple of seconds for your account to be created once you've done that as you can see your account is now created now you can go ahead and upload your nft over here as well just simply click on create and as you can see you will have two options in front of you either you can ha enter in a single collection or a multiple collection but uh, a single nft or multiple they're going to create a collection but i'm going to choose single and the process is going to be exactly the same choose your file you know you can choose either fixed open bids or timed auction and then just simply you can choose a collection and then just simply click on create icon the process is going to be exactly the same so it's very easy to create it's very simple that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video that you basically turned your photos into nfts so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be happy to answer them as well so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye